stress and certain vitamin deficiencies. Finally gotten together. That's right, you've heard about it for years. And tonight, here we are. Tom, Dick, and Harry. ahead more music from Harry Belafonte and the controversial cut the way TV viewers saw it in 1968 all right we have a, uh, we have a couple of minutes here to uh, take up for various reasons Ah. Uh -huh. 
happy Just to hold the hands I love And to be once again with you The smoke is rising Have a, uh, we have a couple of minutes here to uh, take up for various reasons, uh, to fill some time. And uh, we thought we'd uh, invite the audience to ask us some questions. Sure. The questions might be interesting, mm -hmm. and they might not. And our answers might be interesting, and they might not. Probably won't be. But it'll be, a, it'll be a, you know, around six, seven, eight, nine, ten minutes, five minutes, somewhere, however long it runs. And during this time, people are going to ask us questions, and if you don't enjoy them, you can... You people out in the television land, you can go out. This would be a good time to go get a beer, uh, <laughs> go to the bathroom, whatever you have to do yeah, during this time. Buy a car. Do because something. we have a very exciting thing coming up right after this section. Well, maybe they could catch Bonanza, see what they're happening. Yeah, switch to Bonanza, you know, anything. <laughs> but only be gone for just a few minutes. Because we'll be back. <laughs> because <laughs> we'll be back. This is just a time, we, we call it the seventh inning stretch. Yes. Now we're going to go to our audience. Directly ahead. What you didn't see in 1968, for the first time ever, the censored Belafonte song. Stay with us. Now here's Harry Belafonte the way he should have been seen in 1968. Mm -hmm.
to talk to the governor today concerning the carnival parade. Have to talk to the governor today concerning the carnival parade. Trinidad and Tobago running wild. Governor say no carnival, a big a riot, a police and thing. Picket sign and the people start to sing. Lord, Lord, stop the carnival. Lord, Lord, stop the carnival. Carnival, American bacchanal. Come me woman walking up the block Pitchy bottom going like a clock Come me woman walking up the block Pitchy bottom going like a clock No carnival, me woman said Oh Lord, you better off dead Show me the way to the governor's mansion I'm going to have me a record session Lord, don't stop the carnival Lord, don't stop the carnival Friends, it's a big calamity. Carnival times, a big necessity. Tell your friends, it's a big calamity. Carnival times, a big necessity. Half the country wouldn't sing the song they sing without carnival and all the joy it brings. Oh Lord, I feel so low about that town. Oh, Sing the chorus, 
The start of this show was the start of the third season. Uh, there had been a lot of uh, heated discussions on censorship and control of the show mm -hmm. during the first two seasons. This is our first year back, uh, f the first uh, show back mm -hmm. after uh, for the third year. I think you'll notice if you, uh, on the show that uh, we weren't were happy about doing the question and answer period. We liked doing those normally, and they were fun, but we had to, I think you commented about we have to fill some time here. We thought we had a show. We're going to fill some time. I'll do a handstand if you don't like the show. <laughs> Why don't you tune in to Bonanza? They're sort of fun, but come on back. See us later. And uh, so we were playing a little bit of games, and that, that, that gamesmanship in the, in the third season got pretty, pretty funny. And it also got very heated. And heated. The Belafonte piece was taken out. Uh, getting back to that, uh, we put in a question and answer period. We were very, I was very upset well, about maybe they censoring the show. Yeah. And uh, so <laughs> we put in the the question and answer period, and then when they um, we put the, replaced the, the carnival bit, they took it out and they sold part of the time to Richard M. Nixon for a political campaign. We had plagued over how to use the footage, how to shape the songs. Uh, I certainly had the right to, uh, to uh, approve of the words that I was going to sing, and we had to frame it carefully so that we weren't fanning the flames of, of, of anger. We wanted to create the arena of discontent with what was going on and to say that it's proper to be, uh, to have this discontent. But uh, uh, when it didn't go on the air, and we were conscious that we were dealing with something that should be, you know, carefully uh, dealt with. Uh, I was called by Tommy Smothers, and I was told that it wasn't going to go on. And he told me of his anguish and his anger and, uh, and that uh, they didn't know quite what they were going to do about it, but they knew that something would have to be done. And there was one thing that we knew, uh, we couldn't keep it secret, that we would have to take it to the American people, that we'd have to take it to the public and let them know what had happened to us. And to a great extent, that's what we did. Actually, Harry doing... That's the stop, stop the carnival to the Democratic National Convention. A lot of young people probably don't re remember their history. It was the most violent political convention in this century. I mean, mm -hmm. there was the yippies. There was there was police, police brutality. There was I mean, it was physically very very volatile and and very heavy. And it wasn't a compliment to the Democratic Party. No, we weren't. But it was to yet. the political process we um, were making the comment about. So they took it out and sold the time to the Republican National 
party for mm -hmm. uh, Richard Nixon's campaign. So they took it out and had Richard Nixon, who was not our friend. He's actually later on the guy who he won the election and then fired us. It was to him that did it. <laughs> so it was it was a combination of very ironic happenings. But this was a, a kind of a uh, an indication. We didn't know at all that yeah. this was the start of our last was a season. With the <laughs> they were planning our death. I would rather have had the Smothers Brothers on the air for the length of time we had them saying something than to have had the Smothers Brothers on the air forever saying nothing. Uh, by, that, by that mere fact, they made an enormous contribution because they touched thousands and thousands of minds that I'm sure decided during the period of the Smothers Brothers show that they were not going to take any crap, that they were going to stay to the gun, that, they, that it was the honorable thing to do, the moral thing to do. And... Uh, uh, I think the Smothers Brothers, with all the difficulty that they experienced, must take great reward in the fact that they, that they were the heroes of the time and uh, are, in the minds of many of us, still quite heroic. We hope this uh, comedy hour brought back uh, memories for some of you and for others who were not around back then. Maybe we showed you a little bit about what TV and the world were like in September 1968, particularly at the Chicago Convention. We'll see you again real soon with another Smothers Brothers comedy hour right here on E! Thank <laughs> you.